Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am sitting in bed because I want to share with you guys in the beginning of this video, my bedside nursery cart that I have pretty much finalized for Miss Lilia, but another one? What? There was a little baby frog on the floor that was dead in our room like a little while ago, and now there's another one. What the heck? Anyways, I have finalized what I have in our bedside nursery um, cart for Miss Lilia when she's born. I am still open to suggestions. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below so that I can kind of look at them and see if that's something that I would think that I would benefit from or we will benefit from. Um, there is one other thing that I want to add to this cart, which I will talk about when we get to it. But I got my cart from Target. You can also get them from like um, Michaels. Um, Big Lots has them, Walmart has them, the three tier rolling carts. I've heard to make sure you get rolling ones so that you can move it from room to room. And honestly, I've already rolled it from here into the living room to like organize it and stuff. And it's just so easy. The fact that I can just like roll it wherever I need. Like I can totally be like holding her in one arm and be rolling the cart in the other. So that's super helpful. But let's go ahead and get right into my cart. Um, so this is kind of like an overview of mine. Um, so this is going to be like diaper changing essentials, like, um, uh, extra clothing essentials and then breastfeeding essentials. So I am sitting on the bed because my back is literally killing me. Um, so if the angles are a little wonky, I do apologize. So the first thing I have is a bunch of newborn size diapers. I have two rows and then back here doing for this is boogie wipes. I don't necessarily think that I will need specific boogie wipes. I can use just regular wipes, but they were on sale and my husband grabbed them. So, you know, we might as well make use of them. And then I also have the Honest Diaper Rash Cream. This is going to be one of my favorite brands. Why isn't it? I really like um, Honest Brand for everything, so I really wanted to try out their diaper cream, and I also have all their bath supplies as well, like lavender bath supplies. I have Baby Aquaphor, um, and then also I have this that came as a sample. This is also some diaper cream, just a different brand, and we'll see which one we like better, so I like to have different options. And then I got this little organizer from Ikea years and years and years ago, but people still buy them, so I'm pretty sure you can still find them. But we'll start in the back. So the first thing I have is gas drops. So I wanted to get um, uh, gripe water, but I have read that it's not good for newborns and that you should just use regular gas drops for newborns and then um, move on to gripe water. So I will be using this at first. And then I also have baby oil back here that again, don't necessarily know if we'll use it, but I had two containers. So I went ahead and put it here and also baby powder. Here is her Honest Lotion. This is the lavender one. And I have a feeling that after bath time, we will be bringing her into our room or into the living room to like, you know, put on lotion and stuff. But I am gonna have some of this stuff in her room as well. And then I have my Hawker right here, which um, is breastfeeding related. But I'm probably gonna use it a lot more than I'm gonna use like my pump and stuff. So I put this up here just so it's easy to access in the middle of the night so I'm not like leaning over trying to like find it down in the bottom. And then I just have a pack of wipes as well um, that you know will have to be replaced obviously. And then on the second level, I'm gonna move down to the floor so you guys can see better. So I have another one of these little Ikea organizers and right up front I have a little cup full of different binkies. I'm sure that we won't need all these different type of binkies when she's born, but for right now, um, I just have a bunch of different options for us to experiment with. And then I have some burp cloths, washcloths, and the nose Frida. I've heard people say to have washcloths close by just in case for whatever reason, a burp cloth is like dirty or whatever. So I went ahead and threw four of them in here and I had room for them. So I'm okay with them being there. 
I do have one swaddle right here that I bought brand new, but I kept the receipt in it because I want to look secondhand and I may return this if I can find a couple in good condition secondhand. And then I have two um, just like regular old fashioned swaddles. And then I have her owlette socks right here. Of course, they are all in different sizes. This is the smallest one they have, well, that we have. Um, so I will have that right here. Two like decorative onesies, I guess you would call them. I have a bunch of white onesies that are right here. And then I have two spare pajamas. These are button pajamas because these are just gonna be like in case pajamas, you know, in case we need to change her in the middle of the night. I know the zippers are easier, but I do have these and these are two of our favorite sleepers. So I do wanna make sure they do get used, especially this top one. I love the top one. And then on the bottom here, obviously this is a mess because I have not sterilized my pump. I have not taken off like the seal off my pump. I have no idea how to use my pump. So my pump is here and it may change positions eventually, but for the most part, um, I'm going to keep it right here and then potentially move it into a basket later on. That's easier to have around the house. I have a double pumping nursing bra in here. This will eventually probably go into like my dresser, but for now I'm just keeping it here so I know where it's at and that I just don't need to wear this kind of nursing bra right now. I do wear another one that I love that's from Walmart. So if you guys want like a comfy nursing bra while you're pregnant or just like a comfy bra in general, the Walmart nursing bras are actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> and then I have the charger for the pump right here just so I don't lose it. And then back here, I have a bunch of disposable breast pads. Um, so our nipple pads or whatever they are called, what are they called? Um, just like, you know, the pads, whatever. Um, so I bought these, which are the um, washable ones, but so many people told me to get the reusable ones. So I got one box of them to try them out. And then I also have the washable overnight bamboobies um, ones because I'm just not huge into disposable stuff if I don't have to. And the fact that they do make reusable ones, I'm kind of okay with that. I don't think it's as gross if we keep up with them. And then I also have nipple balm right here for myself. So that is basically the whole cart. I am going to include, I am going to do a nursery tour for you guys. And I am going to do an entire bedside nursery tour. But if I did a nursery tour and then I came in here and showed you guys what I have over here for her, I feel like the video would just be too long. So I just wanted a video where I can say, this is our bedside nursery cart. And here's the video link to what we have in it because I don't want that video to be like two hours long. Like, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I do have a couple things next to the bed that I am feeling are going to be essential. So once I start um, really finalizing that, probably at like 35 weeks, I'm 31 weeks tomorrow, then I will start showing you guys and also, her nursery has to be done, and it's not quite done yet. Ooh. I still have the worst um, round ligament pain I've ever felt in my life. Literally, just, like, standing up hurts so bad. And I'm like, does it hurt her the way it hurts me, or is it just that it hurts me? Like, does it squeeze her, or does it just, like, I don't know. <laughs> but, um... That's what's in my bedside nursery cart. So if you guys have any suggestions that I missed out, please let me know because I am very open and willing to changing it up. Um, because I just want it to be the most convenient I can. It's kind of chilly in here because, so let's turn the heat on like two, one degree. So I don't want it to get too hot in here, but I've officially closed her door so that I can't go in there or you guys won't see it in the background. Um, so if you guys want little sneak peeks, I am posting some on Instagram, but not too many. But that will be done within the next couple of weeks, probably after the baby shower and I get everything organized into it. But Mauricio is at work and it is Thursday and I'm supposed to have my glucose test tomorrow, but I actually ended up rescheduling it for Monday. I'm probably gonna like, people are gonna be like, oh, you should have gotten it done. But I have been checking my own blood sugar levels and honestly, I just don't feel like it's super necessary. 
Um, because of my day-to-day -day diet, I don't have high blood sugar. Like my levels are extremely normal. I had like a breakfast this morning. Um, I actually ate French toast because that's what I was craving. And I was like, you know what? Like I really shouldn't eat it if I'm if they think I might have gestational diabetes. But at the same time, like I've never had high blood sugar at home that I've been checking it for a week. And I kind of want to try it out. So I ate French toast with syrup and cinnamon and sugar and you know how you make French toast and stuff. And I also had strawberries on top of it. And within two hours, my um, blood sugar was under 100. So honestly, that's like a really sh sugary breakfast, not a breakfast I eat day to day. For sure not. Usually I eat eggs on a whole wheat English muffin and that's it. So like with, with fruit and sometimes yogurt. Um, so the fact that I ate that breakfast and my blood sugar was under 100 after two hours, I was like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to reschedule it for Monday because tomorrow's supposed to be really pretty day. So Mauricio wants to go fishing in the morning. And honestly, like, I don't know. We don't get that many pretty days, you know, in the middle of the winter. So I'm kind of taking advantage of that. And I am going Monday morning. So it's literally only like technically one more business day. Um, because none of my offices are open on um, the weekend. Freaking car warranty expired, those spam calls. I'm thinking it's like family or something. Um, but I'm about to make myself dinner, lunch, um, dinner more so because um, I'm pretty hungry. And I pulled out some Alaskan King Salmon. It's a really big piece because obviously it's supposed to be for me and Mauricio. But I'm going to cook this with some couscous. And I also have some frozen squash that I'm going to cook because it's been in there for a while. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I don't think Mauricio is going to end up eating any of it because he brought like a BLT with him to work. So I don't know what he's going to end up doing. But this is what I'm making for dinner. <laughs> actually my family doesn't have good cooks maybe my sister is a pretty good cook but me and my mom we struggle we know the bare necessities and we <laughs> we can get by but we're definitely not having like five-star restaurant meals every day but I'm making at least something healthy right Except in, instead of just like noodles is what I usually eat, like butter noodles or I make my own type of ramen noodles like a healthier version that doesn't have as much sodium as like that stuff does um, or sometimes I eat spaghetti. Like I just always eat noodles. I feel like I never not eat noodles. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cook myself dinner tonight because I don't know what time Reese is getting home. And I'm tired of eating different versions of noodles. But anyways, look at this belly. Like it came from nowhere for one. And also it's so hard. <laughs> it's like rock hard. 
wow i mean i did i do have a stomach filled with water i've been drinking so much water i did so much research about drinking water so a lot of this is probably like water bloat as well as baby like i'm not gonna sit here and lie <laughs> it's probably baby um but i just like i'm 31 weeks tomorrow so usually in the morning i'm not as big maybe if i remember tomorrow in the morning i'll record because usually like right now i feel super like bloated and uncomfortably big like my stomach is hard but i'm hungry so like i don't know but i will show you guys if i remember tomorrow to show you what my belly looks like in the morning but i feel like by the end of the day my belly is like tripled in size <laughs> um but i'm just waiting for my salmon to cook i have it in the air fryer it's in the air fryer this is the best invention i had this whenever um i had not even met mauricio or maybe we had been we were talking and he was still overseas and i was living still in jacksonville by myself but um i found mine at a pawn shop my mom bought it for me so this has been like a saving grace salmon chicken patties um you can cook so much in there those are the two things that i cook the majority in there like chicken nuggets uh french fries sweet potato fries all those yummy things it's definitely worth it i need to get a pressure cooker because people say those are even more worth it and there's one at walmart that's freaking mickey mouse and it's probably gonna be gone by the time i'm ready to buy it because we have so many appliances i'm just like we don't really need that but at the same time like people always rave about it but oh my goodness i feel freaking huge right now like i feel super uncomfortable wow look at that salmon wow i hope it's cooked all the way i think i'm gonna cook it for a couple more minutes taste test i like no flavor <laughs> my squash ended up being freezer burnt so this is what i get for dinner today but hey, it's a step up from noodles, so I'll take it. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like she definitely has dropped a little bit. Like people were saying before, but I'm really seeing it today. It looks like she's definitely dropping, which is weird because I'm only 31 weeks tomorrow. So I don't know, but I'm about to take a bath. And you all know, we all know that that's one of my favorite things to do. So. I need to get a hair tie and then I'm gonna get in the bath. Good morning guys. So I am in our spare bathroom because Mauricio is still sleeping. But I wanted to end this vlog by showing you guys what my stomach looks like in the morning because I said I would yesterday in the vlog but you guys just saw that but he just kicked on but this is what my belly looks like in the morning i just feel like it looks so much smaller um not as round i guess i don't know but yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in our next one bye guys